Uh, well, with Christmas <laughs> just a week away, Delta Goodrum, the fabulous, the incredible Delta Goodrum, has helped us all get into the festive spirit with her fabulous Christmas special. Recorded in front of a full house at the Sydney Coliseum, it's the fourth year that Delta has done this. It's an annual, it's now officially a tradition, and I reckon this was the best yet. A fabulous lineup of talent, including some guy called David Campbell, who was very, very good. Um, David, Russell Crowe, who's no stranger to a Coliseum. Oh. He was there with, thank you very much, mm -hmm. with his indoor garden party. A Robbie, with John, I'm going to get to them. Uh, Russell was terrific with his band. Robbie Williams so opening the show. Good. How good was Rob just oh. opening What about that Teddy Swims guy, too? Teddy oh, Swims. he's amazing. Amazing. BB Rexer. And how about the phenomenal John Stevens reuniting with Kate Sobrano after, I think it's 30 years or something, to relive the magic of Jesus Christ. Superstar, here's a little face. Close your eyes, close your eyes, and relax. Think of nothing to Everything's all right, yes, everything's fine. Doesn't miss a beat. Oh my Those two are forever so young. Good. Do not try that at home, you'll. No. <laughs> <laughs> John's for, I mean, but yeah. Kate anyway, is unbelievable. Yeah. And Delta match them as well. Well, here's here's a little look at the superstar trio. Town. Is it just is it just me that's thinking how good would it be to you know to do this again? Oh, Maybe yeah, tour bring it back. with a with a with a Delta Jesus. Can't be the only one with lots of money who's a producer out there thinking that's. You can't a lot of money. be. I think he gets a <laughs> little cut. A little, little bit. Just a little. No, you just get the joy of seeing that over exactly, and over. Exactly. He'd like a little right. cut. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> look, the whole show. It's worth it's worth watching and watching again. I tell you what. It's Fabulous. on nine now. There he is. Who will Delta have next year? Well, only Santa oh. knows that. Uh, anyway, meantime, Kylie Minogue has uh, opened up about surviving cancer. Have a look. The experience of a cancer diagnosis will live in me. It was difficult. It was also amazing. Amazing in what way? Amazing in that you, you are very aware of a, your body and of the love that's around you, of your capability, all sorts of things. Do you sing to process any of that? I sing to process everything. Well, we love you, Kylie. She was declared cancer-free in 2006. She's played that first run of dates in Vegas back in a month. Uh, congratulations to Demi Lovato, who's announced she's engaged to her boyfriend, Jordan. If you're watching, Demi, congratulations to you. Uh, they shared some Instagram flaunting of a pear-shaped ring, which looks beautiful. Nice. And finally, uh, Jimmy Barnes has, uh, well, it looks like everything is going really well. We'll get first-hand information on that after open-heart surgery last week, sharing some pictures with beautiful Jane, and his wife, uh, enjoying a Sunday roast while daughter Mahalia and granddaughter Ruby were out caroling as you do. Get those kids out working. Uh, how is he, David? Uh, he's doing great. He's great. really, as you can see by the photos, it's, you know, the nurses and the doctors there are just unbelievable. Just a week ago. Just a week ago, it was, yeah, it was all opened up and look at him walking around. Of course give him, he is. Give though. him our love. Of course he's our I know. Love. Give him the nation's love. Absolutely. Well, indeed. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, Tiki. Wrapping our arms around you all. All right, let's turn to entertainment and Delta Goodrum has rounded off her magnificent Christmas special broadcast right here on Nine. In case you missed it, here's a little sneak peek. Gosh, she's so good, isn't she? She had so many incredible musos to celebrate the festive season with her. Russell Crowe was there with his indoor garden party band, alongside Robbie Williams, who was there with a little help from technology. There's G Flip. I also dropped in for a bit of a song and dance and a bit of a hoot nanny. There and is. our very own Richard Wilkins was stunt Santa for the night. No, <laughs> was he? Kiora Santa. Kiora Santa, how good. Speaking of Aussie music icons, Kylie Minogue has taken a moment from her residency in Las Vegas to chat with Sunday Morning on CBS. She spoke in depth about her incredible career, which spans, of course, three decades, and also opened up about 
her breast cancer diagnosis. The experience of a cancer diagnosis will live in me. It was difficult. It was also amazing. Amazing in what way? Amazing in that you, you are very aware of a, your body and of the love that's around you, of your capability, all sorts of things. Do you sing to process any of that? I sing to process everything. Wow, Kylie underwent surgery and chemotherapy in 2005 and was declared cancer-free a year later. Let's go to NYC now, where Kate McKinnon has had a bit of a homecoming, returning to Saturday Night Live stage as a host. The comedian spent 11 seasons as part of the cast before going on to star in movies. Most recently, we loved her at Barbie. Yes. But her fellow castmates, Maya Rudolph and Kristen Wiig, made a surprise drop-in during her opening monologue. The trio went on then to do a few skits together throughout the night. Barbie director Greta Gerwig also stopped in to introduce musical guest Billie Eilish. And she performed a gorgeous rendition of her song, What Was I Made For?, along with a bit of a festive favourite. Yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be light. Wow. She was so good. I think she should really clear a space for that Oscar this year, too. Absolutely. That was the last show of SNL for the year. Next year, how's this? Aussie actor Jacob Elordi. He is having a moment. Yeah. He is going to be hosting the first episode back on January 20th. Wow, he's in one of those purple patches that Dickie always talks wow. about. Good for him. So purple. And congratulations are in order for Demi Lovato this morning. She has announced she is officially engaged to her boyfriend, now fiancé, and fellow musician Jordan after taking their romance public a little over a year ago. And we're hearing Jordan pop the question during an intimate proposal in LA. The pair then joined their family and friends for dinner to celebrate. They first met co-writing one of Demi's songs back in early 2022. And finally, Cher has opened up about being the second artist ever to have a number one song span seven decades. She was on Kelly Clarkson's show, clapping back at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame for never inducting her. You're rolling strong with me. That's incredible. Right, and I'm not in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Wait. <laughs> Are you serious? You know what? I wouldn't be in it now if they gave me a million dollars. Are you serious? I'm not kidding you. Absolute oversight, and someone in Cleveland has absolutely been fired right She now. doesn't need it. She doesn't need it. She's Cher. She's cool. It's Cher's universe. It's 6 a.m. We're living in it at 6 a.m. on today.